You know, I touched on this briefly in the past about Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford. How the fight would go, you know, what it would what would it look like in that ring when these two finally when these two dudes finally step into the ring. You know, in my honest opinion, um they're gonna both have to be on their A game. That's why I was saying I want these dudes to be in prime, excellent, tip top shape. And to be honest, uh, Errol Spence, uh, he's more worn down than Terrence Crawford. Uh, Terrence Crawford doesn't really, out, he's not out there really smoking, smoking, or he's not drinking liquor and, and, and getting into car accidents and all of that. So you people got to consider that going into that to this fight because. Uh, when Errol fought Danny, he admitted he wasn't all the way fully himself. You know, granted, since Danny, Errol's body had time to heal up a little bit. So you can you can kind of say Errol should be, he should be at, he said he was at 60, 70 percent or something. I'm not sure what he was, he claimed he was at. I say right now Errol should be at maybe 85 percent, even with the with the detached retina thing. That might, you know, it could drop a couple of points off that, making he's about 80% ready for um, this fight. But, you know, we can't keep making those excuses, man. We got to let these things, we got to let these make these fights. They got to happen, man. And if they did fight, it would look similar to uh, trying to so I can compare it to like a, a classic fight. A lot of people think it looked like hack. It looked like um, Sugar Ray, like a no, not Sugar Ray. They said I think they said a Hagler Hearns. They comparing it to Hagler Hearns, meaning Bud would be like ha uh, Hearns, and Errol Spence would be like Marvin Hagler. You know, you know what's funny about that too. I always said Bud looked like a, a smaller version of Tommy Hearns. There's something about them that they kind of resemble each other for some reason. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's going to be a highly competitive fight. Even though, you know, uh, it still depends on how Errol is conditioned for this fight. If he goes back, to, to apparently he's still with Blu-ray. He went back with Blu-ray. If he's back there, Arrow should be maybe 85, 90%. I really think they should just, you know, worry about the eye, look into the eye, keep keep an eye on that and see how it is. Do light sparring. Don't do nothing crazy. You know what I mean? But it'll be a competitive fight. Downloading, because, uh, you know, Terrence Crawford's a slow starter. Arrow Spence starts off a bit faster than um, Terrence Crawford. So Terrence Crawford will probably be backpedaling a lot, probably uh, the first two rounds, maybe three. That's how I kind of look at it. He's going to be downloading Errol Spence, seeing what he does. He's going to be throwing probes out there, trying to get Errol to react. And sometimes if you look at Errol, when people do faints, sometimes Errol will cage up because he was doing that with uh, Mikey Garcia. Like, Mikey would do some things. Errol would kind of, like, cage up a little bit. Um, but he didn't reset himself. You know, that's that's the thing, though. I don't never... I never see Errol Spence... Re that's a good thing, though. Like, when someone throws a faint... I mean, does a faint, I don't see Errol completely throwing off his off his rhythm or nothing like that. He knows how to... You know, he, he'll just do a subtle little jerk, but he won't like, get thrown off and everything like that. And then I think... Butter start figuring Errol out a little bit towards like the fifth round, sixth round. Errol will probably start applying more pressure. I think Errol will try to walk Bud down like in the eighth, ninth. I see Bud. Errol Spence's defense is underrated in my opinion. I think Errol Spence has great defense. At first, his defense, like when his earlier fights, he was looking a little suspect with his defense. But he is clear he's been working on his defense. His in and out and his in and out movements are good. He was doing that against Sean Porter. You can see it in that fight. Um He's gonna need that with, with Bud, absolutely. Uh Bud is definitely gonna check Arrow's chain. I think in this fight, both of them, this is the fight we're gonna finally we're gonna see how good Arrow Spence and Terrence Crawford chin is. We're gonna see how good their chin is. Because both of them have power. 
I give the power edge to uh, Terrence Crawford. Um, I give the speed advantage to Terrence Crawford. Footwork, Terrence Crawford. Uh, the tools in the bag, uh, Terrence Crawford. If you anytime somebody can switch hit and the other boxer can't, you automatically got to give them the more tools. You know, off rip, um, punch variation. I give that to Bud. So I think there's a lot of attributes that Bud has over Errol Spence. But I think Errol Spence just has the better defense over. I think that's the only thing to me. I see that's the only thing I think Errol Spence has over Bud is the defense, man. I think he has better defense, um, especially his defense off the offense. That's why I like when – and you see little feints of that Devin Haney's doing that now too. Like he'll he'll punch and then you'll see him get out of the way, do that juke move, you know what I'm saying, back and shit like that. Kind of like – like uh, look like he was ready, like a kind of like a move back, like a pull counter move almost, but just, just using that to duck out the way and shit like that. I see Devin Haney doing that, Errol Spence. Floyd used to do that. Well, Floyd used to do that a lot with his pull counter and stuff like that. But um, that's going to be a highly competitive fight. They're both going to get chin checked in this fight. And I think this fight, you're going to see probably both of them be physically really hurt. You might see both of these dudes like stun them talking about to the point where they wobbly. I think you're going to see that from both of them. Um, we're going to see who has the better chin, how both of them react to each other's punches, their power punches. We're going to get to see that. So I think, you know, like I said, the first fight, it's going to be more than one fight out there. I think this fight is going to be so good that it's going to end up likely going into a draw. So... I don't see anybody getting knocked down in this fight. In their fight, I don't. I don't even see knockouts. I can't. I can't say that yet. It's a little too early to really gauge that. But I think that that's that that first fight at least it goes to the, the to the cards. I don't see them. I think both of them are just that good where they'll be able to withstand each other's punches. And I think they're just that good where they can evade a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Both of them. Errol Spence probably more so. I think Errol Spence will probably be able to evade more of Bud's um, punches. It depends on where they get, where they get punched at though, because uh, Terrence Crawford's defense is like his footwork, like like evading punches. He's better at that than Errol is, as far as like oh jumping out the way or like I wouldn't say jumping out the way or like rolling off the or rolling off the ropes and stuff like that. I think Terrence Crawford's better at that. Errol Spence, he's better at the defense too. As far he's good at defense as far as um, you know, jumping out the way and dipping and you know stuff like that, or um, catching your shots and stuff. I think both of them are good at catching shots. That's why I said, man, this fight gotta happen, man, because this one is. It, if you was gonna lean a certain way, it's gonna be very difficult. I think, man. I think um, going into it. Is going to still as far as Errol is concerned, it's gonna come down to if he really is who he say he is as far as his conditioning with his eye and his in the car accident thing, right? You know, um I don't wanna get too much into the car accident thing because uh a lot of people don't believe that that even happened. And rightfully so when you come to when you look at it. You know, in a weird sense, you know what I mean? Some things that I have seen that was that wasn't adding up. But nonetheless, we gonna, you know, it is what it is. The car accident is the car accident, you know. But we'll see if he comes in this fight ready. You know, I want both of them to be ready. I don't want no excuses. I don't. You know, see with T.O. and, and Cambosos, they both train, but T.O. lost and then all these other excuses start coming out about this. Uh, his arm and now his lung and the air in his lungs and all this other stuff. You feel me? So, man, I'm just ready. My hands rubbing together. I'm ready for this Errol Spence Terrence Crawford fight because I'm telling you it's going to be competitive. And to the fans of both, I get it. You know, you're supposed to ride and rally with your God, but just understand. 
one of you, one of these dudes is gonna lose that night, or it might be a draw. But one is definitely gonna like they both gonna perform. You're gonna see two motherfucking machines in that ring. So gear for that, gear for that, man. But that's just a slight assessment I see uh, with this fight, man. They're they're gonna they're gonna put it all out there. They're gonna let their nuts hang. Absolutely. But uh, let me know what you think. Drop a comment, support the channel. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all later on the next one, man. Peace out.